Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to another puzzle vlog. If you are new to this series, it's where I just take you throughout my week and show you some things that are puzzle related, some things are just a lot of like behind the scenes stuff for running my channel and doing all the puzzle things. And I thought I would do it more frequently because recently my current goal was just do it whenever I can think of it. But you guys seem to really like watching these videos. I love filming and editing them, so it just works out. So hopefully you don't mind. I think I'm going to be doing it maybe once a month, maybe every other month, but a little bit more frequent just to see like the casual behind the scenes, getting to hang out with you. It also gives me a little time to give you some like life updates if I have any, and I'm excited about it so I have quite a few things puzzle related to do this week and so I thought I would take you along for the ride there may be some things that are not puzzle related that I might put in here I really don't have anything planned currently but maybe something will come of it um, as you can see Christmas tree is up we are in the first full week of December while we're sitting here having some tea I wanted to give you a little update on the band situation so you can skip ahead I'll leave timestamps if this does not interest you at all but if you saw the last puzzle vlog, I had mentioned that I was considering joining a band. I probably wasn't gonna join for a few months, probably not until the next year because it's like the end of the season. Well, I had reached out to the band, the director, and he said, actually, our season's super short in the winter, so if you join now, you have just enough time before the concert. And so I did join about three weeks ago, and we only had three rehearsals and then the concert. And it was super fun. I ended up joining. I actually was way better than I was expecting. I hadn't played my saxophone really for about 10 years. Luckily, they gave me the music before the first rehearsal, so I was able to like play it and try it with the accompaniment. So it ended up being really good. And actually, I actually got Dave to join as well. So my husband, he played trombone, also hadn't played in about 10 years. We had our concert on Saturday, and we had actually our friends come to watch and it was just a good time it was a nice like like winter community thing which we really haven't like ventured out into the community much so it was kind of nice to like be a part of something i am going to be drinking my tea getting ready for the day i need to film that reel and then we'll see what else is on the agenda but thank you for being here and i hope you like this video and i'll yeah let's just get going a little bit later and first up we realized that our house gets zero sun this time of year. So sorry if the lighting's like a little weird in this video. This time around I do have like the studio lights on. But I'm about to do my advents for the day. And what I've been doing is six advents. A few of them are 12 days so I've been like rotating them like I've done previously. I do have a DIY one that someone sent me that I'm doing. I have the Aldi one which... Yeah, I don't know, I didn't mention here, um, but I have the Aldi one that someone sent me, which I'm super excited to do. So we're on day four as I'm filming this. I'm gonna do day four with you. I won't do like time lapses for every single day throughout the week, but I thought maybe you'd be interested in which ones I'm doing as an advent season. So after that, I might do the 500 piece Bradford's burger, the, like a speed puzzling round, and then we'll see what else I do for the rest of the evening. But right now, let's do the advent. Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining 
just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moon Like till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Not that any of you care, um, but this is like my favorite Christmas decoration. We got it when we first moved to California. We got it at Hallmark, but it's so fun. You, you have to see it, ready? And then, so for this thing, you like twist it and it's like different characters and each character has a different song. So all together, there's like 20 different songs that it can play or like light shows and you could buy them separately. So if you only wanted like one, you could do that, but we bought the whole thing and it was expensive at the time. So I love it. It's so much fun. So I'm just going to see what's with this one. So this guy like conducts them. The only thing is it takes 15 batteries. So today is Tuesday. It's been a very productive day. So I woke up early this morning. I had a doctor's appointment, which is just pretty far away. I was like, oh, I'm going to go to the Goodwill. It's near there and bring you along. They didn't really have any puzzles. So that was a flop. Um, but when I came home, I took a really good nap. Um, and then I've been making a meal plan. I edited a video. I posted my victory puzzles review video and all like the different marketing stuff that I need to do for that. Um, my blog post is up on Puzzle Warehouse, so I was making a post for that. So it's just been pretty productive. So I think this evening, since I did a lot of work, I'm going to do some type of puzzling. So I'll take you along for that. And yeah, it's been a good day so far. Dave will be home probably about a half hour and then I'm going to go grocery shopping. So that's the plan, Stan. So let's just have a good day. Here is the Aldi one. This one has been fun. There have been quite a few false fits, but you know what? I'm not too mad about it, but here is the one I did for today. Just nice, fun winter scenes. My DIY advent, which today I did have two section, sections joined up. So the break was here and I was able to combine two of these sections, but this is what it's looking like so far. So the two things I wanted to mention, first up, I didn't do the reverie today because it's been raining like crazy for the past like week and my hands are not working with micro puzzles right now. Plus they're kind of time consuming. So I'm like, do I want to do a 150 piece micro puzzle that's going to take me a little bit or do I want to put that effort into like a larger puzzle? So I think I'm just going to put that one on pause for a couple days just so my hands are a little bit better, but then it might be hard to catch up. So I'm not sure that that was one of my critiques when I did that one is that the micro puzzles just take a while, especially since some of the images is like a, an item and then the rest is just background and it's kind of annoying because some things are false fits and it's just kind of small and tedious to like manage those small pieces. Yes, I could try to use tweezers, but actually the gripping of the tweezers is also just as hard. So that's just not going to happen today. Um, the second thing I want to mention was that I had taken apart my Christmas one that was the Vermont Christmas Inn one. 
That one is an advent that I had done previously. And I thought of a really cool idea, which might be fun for you guys if you are taking apart an advent that is similar, is to put the sections in different boxes. So next year when I do it, or if I give it away, the person who's doing it is doing it a little bit more random than just like in a row. And for me, that would be super fun. So that's just an idea for you. If you are doing your advent anyways this year, maybe putting it away a little bit differently next year to either keep it fresh for you next year or to pass along and give it to someone else. But anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, so it is Wednesday. Sorry, I feel like this video is like extra PC. It's because I've had a lot of like worky type things like in the daytime, so I really only have the evening to puzzle. Today I spent the majority of the day doing my blog post for Puzzle Warehouse. This one was a doozy. It was super fun though because it was all of the ambassador's favorites, which you will see at the end of the month. And I was able to like reach out to all of the ambassadors. They were sending me pictures. I was like getting some blurbs from their blog posts or their posts where they mentioned them, um, getting that all together, getting all the photos together, getting all the links together. It was a lot of work. So I didn't actually have as much time today as I was expecting. It kind of took my whole entire day. And luckily it's like 99% done. I'm just waiting for one person to send some pictures and then I'll be done with it. So it's going to be a really fun one to read because it's just like a bunch of puzzles and I feel like I gained like 20 puzzles that I want to do next year. This evening I'm thinking I'm going to do this Ravensburger puzzle. So this is one that I got at the puzzle library. It is called, let's see, Tropical Waters and I did get it for speed puzzling. I feel like I'm not going to be very fast this evening, but if the battery dies while I'm doing it, not gonna change it just so I can continue through. But I think since I'm finishing this one today, tomorrow I might go to the puzzle library that's because five out of the six would be complete and I just don't wanna hold on to them. So I think that's my plan for tomorrow. So tomorrow should be a fun day. Um, I'm also getting my final package for a haul video, which is super exciting. I got way too many puzzles for Black Friday. So, you know, um, that video should be coming out soon. If not, it might be right before this one. But let's just do this puzzle. I'm so excited about it. I'm curious to see what my time is. Again, I'm kind of tired and not really in the mindset to do some speed puzzling, but you know, I'll give it a shot and yeah, let's just get into it. Drive along in December rain that play my favorite song. I see a snowflake melt on the deck. I'm awful cold and longing for the holiday. Counting days until you're here. I've been waiting this whole year. Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night. I know you may suffer light, but together we Pick all the peasants up for you Decorate the fireplace for two I keep waiting all night, all night Wish upon a starlight, starlight I sleep under the mistletoe Wake me up with a kiss on my nose It feels so magical, yeah look Where we were small Someone's been here and there Darkest for all Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night. I know you may suffer like, but together. Alright, so 
so I just finished this puzzle, which was so much fun. Did better than I was expecting. I have 78 minutes and 59 seconds. My latest time was 80 minutes and 16 seconds. So shaved off a minute, which I'll take it, you know, um, just because I was not in the mindset tonight and I did actually have to fix my camera. So I'll take that time. Um, but the image is cute. I'll tell you my strategy with the speed puzzling currently. Um, not an expert, but let me know if you have suggestions to improve my time. That would be helpful. So um, this is my current strategy. If you saw in the video, I did sort out the edges and started to do this area. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should just find these pieces. And then, oh, well, I might as well just find these pieces. And oh, I'll find these and then these. So the things that like grew and made sense, I ended up picking out from the pieces instead of just like doing the full border, um, which just made for less pieces around me, made it easier to work with. And so that was my strategy. Once I got like a lot of like the big sections done, that's when I finished the border, did up here, which is really distinct pieces, and then just like grabbed things that made sense. Um, I don't know if that's really a strategy, but I think just me grabbing pieces that I I'm sparked by you know like ooh pink and I'll just like grab all the pink and do it real quick versus like trying to finish a border and then going back I think has helped me quite a bit so that is what it looks like I liked it a lot and yeah Hello. had a good time good morning happy Thursday I've already had a pretty productive morning so last night I was really tempted to do a declutter because for me I don't like having things in my collection that I'm never going to do again. They're just piling dust. I'd much rather have my puzzles get love from someone else. So I was like, oh, I should do a declutter. But then I was like, oh, I should probably film it. So this morning I filmed that and I did the declutter and oh my goodness, it feels so good. Before we get into the declutter, I did want to mention a couple things I thought of when I was setting up is that I, one, will not be sending puzzles to any of you. I often get people messaging me afterwards wanting to buy them or wanting me to send them to them and I like to keep them local. Um, I might give them to friends and family just because for one, that's really time consuming on my end. It's hard to like, keep track of things and I just think it's it just gets, it just gets a little funny when like money is involved. So I'm just not going to be doing that. Um, also, I just have too many puzzles. I'm the type of person who likes to just give my puzzles a second life. If it's a puzzle that I've already done, I don't plan to do again. I'm not just going to keep it, you know. Some I do keep for like display purposes or if I need for a video. But other than that, I don't want to just like keep them to keep them. I don't want to like grow a collection. I want to keep my collection at least containable. Um, right now I'm just like running out of space and I'm trying to find like other places in this room to put puzzles and yes I could buy some more puzzle shelves but I don't like having excess so we are going to hopefully weed through some things so I have enough space to at least put the new puzzles out. Now this first shelf here is just a small little shelf away from the rest of the stuff and I was originally using it as like a place to put smaller piece counts that are new and I really liked that aspect but then it kind of got lost because I put other things over in this corner and it's just I couldn't see it so then I was just going to my puzzle shelves anyways um so I still like that concept of like using this for like newness uh, but it definitely needs like a little refresh and there are some things in here that I may have purchased or may have been sent that I just don't see me doing um or there are things that I've done that need to get going. So the first one that I'm parting ways with is this one called Breakfast in Bed. It's a super cute image, um, but it's just a, a style of artistry that I'm just not a fan of when it comes to puzzles. It's just too artsy. So it's a very blurry lines. I've done a couple of her images before and it's just not my normal style. I normally don't enjoy it. So it is a cute image. I just don't see me doing it. It's been in my collection, I think, like at least a year, maybe longer. So this one I think needs to find a new home. Um, the rest on this shelf, I think, are going to stay. We have a new pomegranate. I have a couple that I've purchased. I have a couple thrifted, and I think that's fine. This one, actually, I'm going to take out to do some, like, speed puzzling fun. Um, it's just, like, four 100 pieces, which I originally got for, like, a speed puzzling competition thing. Um, but I never did it, so I'm going to do them real quick, I think, today. And then I am going to my the puzzle library today, so I'm going to be passing along some of these puzzles. And they do need some more smaller piece counts. So I'm going to do those so I can send it off to the puzzle library. Well, already, that gives me a little bit of space. 
Um, next down here, I am going to part ways with this one. Um, super cute little Mickey puzzle. I did this one really quickly and I got it thrifted for not that much. I want to say it was like $2.99 and I liked it. I forget what the name of it is. I can't find it on the box, um, but it's like this cute little Mickey puzzle that has a ton of emojis. It was fun. I just don't see me doing it again. So that one can find a new home. Um, let's go into this stack of puzzles. I feel like I never go through this stack because I don't know what's here. <laughs> so let's see. Keeping. I want to do that one next autumn. This one is beautiful. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but we'll do that one in the future. Love this one. Let's see. This one here, I do enjoy the imagery. I just don't see me doing it. It is pretty. It's called Rock Creek Crossing. It's from Sunzo. I think I got it with a gift card from Puzzle Warehouse. Um, I just don't see me doing it, so I'd much rather give it some love. Let's see. This one I did and enjoyed. It was super fun. It was called Feathered Stars by Suns Out. Loved it. It was super fun. I got it thrifted also, and I just don't see me doing it again, so that one can find a new home. And the other two I think I will keep. So made a little bit of space so this one I did it was super fun I am getting rid of it cat balloon race super fun loved it like probably a close up there for like within my top 10 of the year it was just super fun but by Buffalo games and it had a really good fit so this one I really really enjoyed that gives a little bit of space I got rid of five five <laughs> you know there's that it's a it's a start um, I didn't think I was going to get rid of much from this section just because they are newer puzzles, but, you know. So out of these first two shells, which is all Ravensburger puzzles, I did get rid of quite a few, more than I was expecting. So here are the ones that will be leaving my collection. Most of them I've done, one I did not. So the one that I decided I'm not going to do is this one here. It's called 99 Lovable Dogs, and I did a couple of this style, which was 99 Lovable Birds. There was another one that was 500 pieces. I'm just not a fan of this style. I was originally going to do like some type of video where it's like these 99 whatevers and it's just not what I like um, I just feel like it's kind of chaotic there's just like a lot of puppies which are fine like I like puppies and dogs and animals but as this style of imagery it just doesn't do anything for me you know it's not super exciting there's not large enough areas to really work from so you're just doing like chaotic puzzling the whole time and that's just not what I love and I keep overlooking it so this one would be better suited in a different home probably someone with a dog that would really love that. Um, next up we have this one here. I did do both of these. Loved both of them. One was missing a piece. It's just like the two pack that I got thrifted and I know someone would love that. I do have some that I'm going to be sending off to my puzzle partner for nationals so that we can do 500 piece Ravensburger. So I'm sending her some. And so I have this one here which I loved doing. This one is called Floral Reflection and it was super fun. I think this was actually a puzzle from a speed competition once upon a time but I really loved it and I know that she will too. Next we have this one here which is called Beautiful Flowers and super cute again going off to her. Um, I have this one which is called Manatee Moment. Super fun. This one did have a little bit of issues with the coloring. It was a lot a lot lighter like the printer was running out of ink when they did this one. So it's still good for like speed puzzling purposes but it's not like the same Ravensburger quality that I'm used to. And then finally, this one I got thrifted. I really enjoyed. This one is called A Paris Evening. This one I do know is discontinued, but this style of image is quite popular for Ravensburger, so I'm sure you can find something similar online. Um, but I love the sky of this one. This one was beautiful. Is this one from the brand Nuverus? They had sent me over their puzzle board, which I'm really enjoying, and I will do a whole review if you want me to. Maybe I'll just put it in like a different type of video, but um, I've really been enjoying their puzzle board, and so they wanted to send over their puzzles. One I really love the image is called I can't read the first name of it, but it's Peonies. It's a circular puzzle, it's super bright and colorful, totally my style. And then they sent me this one 
which I just know I'm not going to do. This one is called Kiss of Inspirations and it's just a bunch of mouths with sayings underneath them. And I just think it's a very weird quirky puzzle. It's a thousand pieces. I'm probably never going to get to it. And I don't think I would have picked it out if I was going through their stuff. So this one I am going to give a new home because I know someone would actually love it and do this one. I am excited to do their other puzzle and I do like their puzzle board, but I just don't need both puzzles. So this one I am going to find a new home. And then the final puzzle from this section, which I feel like I'm very excited about. Like I've already think at like 16 puzzles that are leaving. This is by Pomegranate. I thrifted it by by accident. Like I don't remember picking it out. I don't remember putting it in my cart, but somehow it ended up coming home with me and I'm just never going to do it. It's not an image I would go for. The colors are just too similar all over the place. And I remember there was a lot of at that thrift store when I, when I purchased it. There's a lot of puzzle pieces just like everywhere. So I feel like they'd also be missing pieces. So I just, I just don't want to do it. So I'm just going to part ways with it. Um, nothing other than that. Uh, so let's move on to the next shelf. That shelf was very, very successful. Okay, so I have four from that top shelf. So that's exciting. The first one here is new. And I want to do this one, but I also saw that they come in a 500 piece. And for me, that's much more manageable than doing a thousand piece because I feel like for Halloween time, I want to do a ton of puzzles and doing a ton of thousand pieces is just hard for me. So I would love to get the same exact image, but in the smaller piece count. So that's why I'm getting rid of it uh, to pretty much buy the other one. This one is super cute. It's called Trick or Treat Hotel. Love the image. It's actually a Charles Wasaki one, but again, I'd much prefer the 500 piece because I know that would be easier for me to do during that time of year than try to do this one. So that one I know is going to get love. And actually the puzzle library uh, has this puzzle, but it was missing like five pieces. So I know someone is really going to be excited to have the full puzzle. Um, next up, we have this one. Loved it. Super cute. Unity Garden by Buffalo Games. Really enjoyed that one. Nice, bright, colorful. I also really enjoyed this one. This one is Seiko called uh, Moonlight Over Manhattan. I had I did this one for a blog post for Puzzle Warehouse. It was gift to me for that purpose. I enjoyed it. It's not normally my go-to image, but for a 300 piece count, very doable. And I just don't see me doing it again. So it's just going to find a new home. And I actually really love this one too. This one is called Tiger and Crocodile by Buffalo Games. Loved it. Really fun, um, lots of shades of green, really bright, colorful. Wasn't very hard, but I just don't see me doing it again. So those four are leaving, which is great. Let's move on to the second half of this shelf, which I don't think I'm gonna get rid of anything here. Um, two, I've a few of them I've done, a few of them. Actually, this one can probably go just because I don't see me doing it twice. This one is called Christmas Cat Stamps. Loved it. It was so much fun. Did it this, this Christmas. Right now, the puzzle library is in its Christmas season, so I know someone would really love doing this one. So I'm going to pass that one along. Everything else on this shelf will be staying. I'm actually, I want to pull this one out for a future video. Like, okay, so this one is Seiko, but it's a discontinued one that it's doubles. I'm so excited to do this one. It's just getting close to that time of year. So I'm pulling that one out to remind myself to do that video, but everything else on the shelf is staying. Moving down, we have quite a few that I can see me parting ways with because they're ones that I've done that I just don't see me doing again. First up, we have this one, which has been traveling around my family. Both my sisters, my mom and myself have all done the same puzzle. Super fun. Love the, um, license plates. The the flag can be a little pretty tricky, um, but it was a really good one. And again, pretty much my whole family has done it, but I was the last stop. And so now that one can find a new home. I'm also going to part ways with Merry Christmas Santa. Did this one recently. Just don't see me doing it again. So having that one find a new home. Let's see a couple ones that I do plan on re redoing. This one, oh, I loved it. I think I am going to keep it just because I feel like I would redo it in the future. Um, this one here, I really enjoy this called the Will one. It's 350 pieces. It has like the family style pieces. I mentioned this recently in my puzzles I did in November video, so I'm not going to discuss it here, but loved it. I just don't see me doing it many more times. Um, so I'm going to part ways with this one. I know someone will actually love that one. So. That feels great. Also, it was thrifted, so it wasn't a huge expense. 
Um, ah, these puzzles are, I really need to get some like elastics to keep these puzzles together. Better curl will do eventually. This one I did recently and loved. I just want to be doing it more than once. So this one can find a new home. It's called Waiting for Our Humans. It was in my recent um, randomizer chooses my puzzle and this one surprised me and I loved it. So this one I'm excited to pass along. Oh, there's this one here too. Oh, this one I can part ways with. So this one is Clementoni. This one is called Wildcats. Super fun. I just don't see me doing it again. Um, has a lot of different just wild cats, but they all have different patterns, which made it a lot more doable. So there wasn't too much fur of like a singular color or pattern. So I really did enjoy this one. Um, Clementoni for me is a little bit on the crumbly side, but I just don't see me doing it again. So whoo, that shelf is almost completely cleared off. That was, that was a good round. So this one was super cute called Netted by Guinness. I just don't see me doing it more than once. So that one can find a new home, but it was super fun. I also really enjoyed this one too. This one is called Guinness by the Sea. And it was a really fun image. I just, again, I don't like to just keep puzzles in my collection after I've done them. Although this one I did do and I loved it and it's discontinued. So I'm keeping it because I know someday I'll do it again. It was one of my favorite puzzles a couple years ago. Um, so this one, I, again, I need to get some elastics because these boxes are just wanting to open up. Um, let's see, this one I haven't done yet. Let's see, this one I did recently. I just don't see me redoing a ton. So this one is called Holiday Visitors by Masterpieces. Super fun and cute. I did speed puzzle this, but I just don't have a need for it anymore. So that can go. Um, this one from Buffalo Games. I did, and it was missing a couple pieces. It was a thrifted item. I'm just going to give it back to the thrift store, but actually put a little sticker on it that says, hey, missing pieces. <laughs> um, this one also I did recently, and it is missing a piece, but not because of the brand. It is now just in my couch forever. So um, it is missing piece. Again, I'll probably donate it and just put like a little note just in case someone is wanting it. Um, someone may still buy it for like $2, you know? And then this one I did re recently called Let It Snow. I just don't see me doing it more than once, so this one can find a new home. So, a little bit of space up there. I think everything else on the shelf I will keep. This shelf here is mostly Magnolia, which I feel like, I don't know, I just have a hard time parting with. And down to this shelf, I think I'm gonna keep everything. I've done a couple, like I've done this Enjoy one here, which was super fun. I did the um, Tanya Wicks and I did a couple of the Ellen Essex. But in general, these are the type of puzzles like I'd love to display front ways, but I ran out of space. So I'm having to like smush them all together instead. So I do plan on keeping them. The few that I haven't done yet, I do plan to do. So going to keep this shelf alone. These ones are all, these two are new to me. This one is new to me. The rest I've done, but really enjoyed, so I'm going to keep. I think I am going part ways with this Anatolian one. It was super cute. It's a 260 piece one. Uh, oh, it's super fun. Um, loved it. It was a great time. It's called Cats on the Beach. I did get this one from Puzzle Warehouse. I just want to be doing it again so that one can find a new home. This one, I loved. It was one of my favorites from 2021, if not the favorite from 2021, and I really did enjoy it. It's called La Vie Belle, and it's just really bright, colorful, lots of like artsy style, so it's like blurry lines, which again is not normally my favorite, but I powered through it and loved doing the final image. I just don't see me doing it more than once, so even though it was like my favorite from a couple years ago, I don't, this doesn't mean that I'm going to do it again. So this one, I think you can find new home, but loved it and highly recommend. Uh, let's see, final shelf. I feel like I'm looking around and I did get rid of quite a bit, but I'm also looking at my shelves like, oh, I didn't really make as much room as I was expecting, but maybe once everything's together, it'll look a little better, look a little better, you know? Um, but final shelf, let's see, we have a, a Duca one I will keep. Um, we have this Duca one, which I did at a speed puzzling competition, so we'll keep that one. Um, this one, I think is cute. This one can go. It's been in my collection for ages and I just haven't gotten around to it. So it's called um, Hometown Collection. It is Port City. But I got this one thrifted, I believe, and I just don't see me doing it. So that one can go. Um, I will keep my True South and I think that's it. 
So let me like gather things together and I'll show you like the pile that I'm getting rid of and what my collection looks like currently. Although I might keep it as is for now just because I do have a haul video I have to film today. So after that, I'm going to be putting puzzles away. So I feel like this video is kind of kind of productive because I'm like making room for new things, which I, is what I needed. Anyways, let me just gather some stuff up. I also want to apologize for probably not giving you like close-ups of all these puzzles, but that would have been too long. So it is what it is. Sorry. Okay. Bye. Here's what my shelves are looking like after the declutter, which I don't have a before, but let's just say this is such an improvement. Like, look at that. We have a whole full shelf. That one there only has three puzzles on it. That one there only has three puzzles on it. Like this puzzle shelf here, pretty much empty. So this is fantastic. And then this is the pile of stuff that is going. So I think I'm going to fill this box up with puzzles to go to the puzzle library. I do have some Ziplocs here because they do like to have them bagged. They usually do it, but I like to just alleviate some of the work for them. Um, so I, we're definitely going to pull some of the Christmas puzzles that I will not be doing or have already done and put them in this box along with some others. So probably able to fit like eight or so puzzles in there. Um, so at least it gets me started at getting rid of some of these puzzles. Um, some things I'll just like donate to local Goodwill and thrift stores, but I would like to keep some of the nicer ones for the puzzle library if I can. So that's my plan. Um, just because everything about it is completely voluntary and they're always in need of new puzzles. So yeah, I'm gonna get this started. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see how wet my jacket is, but just go to the puzzle library, brought my stuff in and took the puzzles that I was going to do. Um, I was originally going to be like showing you all the puzzles that there is in there, but it's pouring buckets. So I'll show you the puzzles that I got when I get home. My raincoat is like soaked through. So it's absolutely pouring out. Um, so sorry I didn't get to show you all the Christmas puzzles that are there because there's some really cute ones. There's a bunch of thousand pieces, which I think, again, I'm gonna use the puzzle library more for like my three to 500, maybe 750 piece puzzles, like ones that I don't really wanna spend the money on, but think would be really fun to do. So got four, I think a couple 300, one or two 500s. So I'm excited to show them to you. They're all Christmas. So that's awesome because I was like completely depleted of my Christmas puzzle. So this is perfect. And yeah, I'm going to head home, maybe stop for coffee. It's so cold out. Like it's a cold rain. All right. So I am home. Oh my goodness. That drive sucked. Um, it's been raining like crazy, like I mentioned, and so many exits are closed because of flooding and there are so many accidents and luckily I got home fine. But, oh boy, this rain needs to lighten up a bit. Um, let me turn on the light. But I want to show you what I picked up at the puzzle library. I don't even remember. So let's, let's look at these together. So again, I got four puzzles of all Christmas. We have a 500-piece Charles Wasaki. Um, oh, look at that image with the train and the red building and all the people. Like this one is going to be super fun. Next up, we have this one here. Oh my goodness, this is a masterpieces puzzle. It is called, where does it say? Christmas Eve Flyby. Again, super cute. Gives Charles Wasaki vibes. I'm not sure of the artist, but love that. Love the sky and it's only 300 pieces. I feel like this one would be super fun. I have this 300 piece, which look at that little kitty. Um, it's a bits and pieces called the party crasher and thought that one was super cute. And then I saw this guy from Cavalini and co I've never done one. They're 500 pieces. So thought this would be a fun one. It is called Santa Claus and it's just, let's see, does it have a full image? Yes, it does. It's just a Santa with his sack of toys and Merry Christmas. I think that one would be pretty fun too. So those are some Christmas puzzles that I got. Um, this is awesome. All right, so let's open up this box. I don't have a box cutter right here, so hopefully I can just like do it beast mode. Um, but I got this from Puzzledly, and I purchased it all on my own for Black Friday. 
I just want to see inside, you know? I'm so excited. I'll show you a couple of them. Oh, oh my goodness. So, <laughs> okay, let's open this up. We have so many good puzzles. I don't even know where to start. We have, what's this brand? Oh my gosh, look at that box. Isn't that beautiful? From Ellis, Elise, Elise Brand Design. Oh, that is beautiful. Um, there are so many of these that I just like wanted to try the brand, so I just picked one of, and it was so hard to narrow it down. Oh my gosh, that one's super cute too. In the Jungle. Oh my gosh. I don't know the brand of this one. What is it? Oh, it's that brand that never puts it on their box. I forget what it's called. But I'll put it Willow Press. Willow Press, I think it is. Um, oh my goodness. There's some really good ones in here. What's this guy? Oh, that one looks super fun too. I like the, the box size of this one. I'll show, okay, let me see. I'll show you two more and that's it because I can't show you all of them because there's a haul video to watch. Um, but this one is from the brand, uh, let's see, Imaginary Journey. Is that the name of the brand? Look at that, isn't it super cute? I love the box size of this and it looks like it has decent sized pieces. It just isn't like anything extra. Five for your pieces called Pollinator Playground. It's just like this rainbow with flat, like this is like the perfect spring puzzle. And then the final one I'll show you, this one was like the best deal. I think I got it for like $3. It was on sale for five and then they had a 30% off deal. So whatever that comes out to, that's how much it paid for this puzzle brand new, which is awesome. Um, it's called Snow Darn Cold. It's weird cause it's a, it's a winter puzzle, but it does not look wintry just because of the coloring. But I thought for the price, I would do that. You know, it's 500 pieces. And I feel like the block coloring might be fun. So I'll show you the rest in that video. Hello, good morning. It is Friday. This will be the last day of the vlog. Like a random side note, I started going to a nutritionist um, because I have PCOS, I have thyroid issues, and so losing weight is very difficult. But it turns out I actually wasn't eating enough calories and the things I was eating wasn't quite working. So we're really focusing on protein. Um, for breakfast, I have been having just a couple eggs with some salsa and avocado. That's been my go-to. Um, and then for lunch, I'll show you that in a second but it's super quick and easy and it's been really tasty and it's easy to like doctor. So I wanted to share that with you. So in the pan, I just have a black bean burger and just a little bit of olive oil. Um, I'll toast that up. You do put them in frozen. So it's just like five minutes and they're done. And then I'll put a couple of these on that little skillet area on our stove. So these are zero net carb um, tortillas that are so tasty. Um, so I'm just gonna take two of these I'll use that burger and it will end up being two little tacos. So I'm gonna just warm these up a little bit. Then while that is cooking, I'm grabbing a cucumber. I've also done lettuce, um, but I'm going to just slice up a few slices of cucumber. And I think today I'm gonna do ranch dressing. Again, I've done this a few different ways and doctoring them up and just like changing it up a bit. Um, I did like the day where I put taco seasoning on, some avocado, and I always have the cucumber just because I'm trying to use up the cucumbers. This is the final result. So I cut the black bean burger in half with some ranch dressing, some cucumber, fold it over, and it's just two simple tacos. And then I just added tomatoes, but this changes sometimes to like carrots or fruit. Um, so that's been my go-to lunch. Again, I've been struggling with breakfast and lunches. Breakfast I usually skip because of my thyroid medication, and then I'm usually not hungry at lunchtime, so, and having protein for both breakfast and lunch has actually helped quite a bit. So uh, that's been my go-to lunch. I'm gonna eat that, get ready to film my haul video. I'm excited. So I'm realizing I never did an ending to this vlog. I know, it was, I feel like it was very chaotic, like most times I do these are, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, at least like the decluttering part, just seeing a little behind the scenes stuff. But I feel like I have so much inspiration of puzzles that I want to do. And so I'm just excited. Also the advents I've been enjoying. So uh, go over on Instagram because I try to post at least a couple times a week so over there if you're interested in the advents but that's it from me thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye guys